On the 18th day of December 2017, violence escalated in Ituli and Kivu provinces in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This left millions of people internally displaced and thousands crossing to Uganda for refuge. Because of the, because of the war, I left that place because things were not easy that side. Even they killed my father. And because of that one, just I left that place and we ran this end. Uganda Red Cross Society has been at the forefront of this influx. We have deployed over 500 volunteers in the affected districts of Hoima, Ntoroko, Chegegwa, Kisoro and Kanungu to respond to the surging masses. In less than two months, since December, uh, they have received a population of refugees now which doubles what was there already. Uh, I think we are talking about around 40,000 of us. And, uh, and these people have come when the resources to give them all the basics uh, are still being mobilized and are still insufficient. So it poses a challenge to all of us who are involved in responding to this emergency. Today, there are about 59,000 refugees from Congo, and these are mainly in Changwali settlement in Hoima district. We have also stationed a base camp at Changwali with a working capacity of about 200 committed and dedicated volunteers. These, among other things, help in registration, carry out vector scaling and data collection. Our teams also help in hygiene promotion through social mobilization, restoration of family links, psychosocial support for the depressed refugees, water treatment to ensure clean and safe water, and so much more. Uganda Red Cross has also set up a water plant off River Nkosi in Maratatu Zone. The plant serves over 5,000 people, providing 20 liters of water per person every day. Uh, the water plant we have taken there is of, is of this is 50,000 cubic liters. Now, this is a small plant compared to the others like we have in West Nile. The reason is that uh, the population figures for Changwai are still low and that can be sufficient. But as the population grows, we have to, to rethink. And you see, that plant is again for emergency. You can't sustain it for a very long time because it's very expensive. Uh, so, this will, have, will work for the emergency phase as we work with other partners to look for the sustainable ways for putting up a bigger plant in case the population is needed. Uganda Red Cross works together with the Office of the Prime Minister and other partners to respond to this influx. They have been able to construct for us a big number of toilets, communal toilets in Mombasa. They have come in with sensitization on issues of hygiene in Malembo. They have contributed towards building of some shelters for us, shelters especially for, for registration and also for accommodation. They have uh, done disinfection at the reception center. They have provided the uh, equetic medicine to make sure that water is treated and it gets to another level which is consumable and maybe acceptable. I think they have, they have done a lot. Changwali's settlement was hit by a cholera outbreak in February 2017 and this left over 29 people dead and about 986 registered cases. What has made the situation more complicated is the outbreak of cholera. Uh, the cholera, because cholera affects both the refugees and the, and the host communities. And this is cholera which according to uh, the information we have, uh, these refugees came with from their country in Congo. And so the, the magnitude of the intervention now goes beyond the refugees, but also making sure that the communities in and around the, the settlement are also supported in order to minimize the spread of the Korea. Due to efforts by Uganda Red Cross Society, Changwali has not registered any deaths for almost a month now and very soon the settlement will be declared cholera free. Through our social mobilization and sensitization campaign, we've been able to contain the outbreak in about a week. Apparently there are no more cases of cholera and our volunteers are here on ground on a daily basis. They go on sensitizing each household on how to prevent cholera. 
basically generally what we are doing is hygiene promotion through sensitization and this is what has helped us to curb the outbreak of cholera here at the reception and as well as in the settlement camp. Our volunteers go on doing what we call vector uh, control through spraying because everybody who comes in here is supposed to be sprayed. <music> The DRC refugee influx continues to grow in bounds with about 70,000 refugees expected to be in the camp by the end of March. Our teams remain rooted on ground, working relentlessly to support with dignity and impartiality.